What's up guys, B-Rob here, and today I'm going to do a little review on a 2018 Jeep Wrangler. I'll be back. So my buddy at the dealership let me bring home this 2018 Jeep Wrangler. And this one here is actually a unlimited sport and it's a uh, four-wheel drive of course it's 2018 and when I first looked at it you know I was like uh, I don't know um, but as I sit there and looked at it some more um, I started liking it a little bit so he said hey why don't you take it with you and, and uh, let me know what you think so I have it sitting here in my driveway and um, this one right here is a little different of course my Jeep my Rubicon is a 2013 and I haven't really looked at the Jeeps from 2013 till now and so um, you know what I'm going to do is is you know just take you guys with me as I look at it um, one of the first things you can notice is there's a rounding here of the of the um, grill and you know it's a little a little different of course and it looks like that at least all the ones they had on their lot had the, the inserts here so it looks like that's standard now um, I do have the features list here. Now this Jeep here it looks like that base price is $30,495 and standard with it um, is there, there's actually a lot standard with them now. Um, some of the things that um, stands out to me that will probably stand out to you too is there's push button on these and that's a new feature uh, at least I was told that's a new feature um, total price on this Jeep right here is 38980 out the door it's got quite a few options on it as you can see fuel economy fuel range looks like you know they're seeing it's a little bit better now I drove this thing from the dealership here and I gotta tell you it was pretty punchy it's got the same engine that I have in my Rubicon a 3.6 liter but it is I mean it would get up and go so um, some of the other differences that I've seen is it looks like that here there's a handle so when you roll your window down here and want to lift your doors off you actually have another place to grab it here so you can reach through grab the doors when you take them off so that's that's good that was something that makes it a little more convenient the inside is just looks like almost a total redesign it still has a lot of the Jeep signature but at the same time it's different so you know take a look at it and you know so it still has the same Jeep integrity but at the same time they did some uh, modernization to it um, one thing I stopped at a stoplight and I felt it cut off turn off so um, it has that feature where it shuts the engine off when you're not um, when you're standing when you're stopped for a while so you can turn that off by hitting this this button here um, the only reason I knew that was because my wife has a Grand Cherokee at 2018 and so we actually have that in that um, but it's push button now which is great um, the screen here I was told they didn't have a Rubicon on the lot but I will probably go back and see if I can I can drive one of those whenever they have one come in but the screen here I was told is a lot bigger on the Rubicon um, there's a media compartment here and what they've done with the gear shift I mean this this is pretty cool actually I kind of like this they actually have a there's a little button here which is really cool they have the the Willy Willy's Jeep right there on top so you know I looked at him like man I don't know and then you know then I started looking at it a little bit more I'm like well you know it's pretty cool and again this is the sport limited or um, hold on yeah unlimited sport unlimited and I haven't had it for that long um, in my possession so I just want to give you a little review on what I've noticed here also there's backup camera and with all the Jeeps they had on the lot, they all had the backup camera. So I'm assuming that might be a standard feature. We can look at our list again. 
I was told that the top is a lot lighter. Uh, I'm not gonna take this top off here, but I was told that's a lot lighter. I was also told that the seats have a little more of a recline in the back. So that's pretty cool. Um, back here, looks like, the, you know, this is a little different design. And let's look very back here, see what we... So I don't know if you noticed that. That seems, that appears to be different. Here, the handle comes out, there's no button. And let's look, I believe the door handles are about the same. Yeah, so the door handles actually pull out. There's no button that you push in on those. Uh, the windshield wiper is now here. It used to be up here. And the design here is different too. This lip wasn't, wasn't on the previous models. Um, some other features they put this here my understanding that actually does have some usability it's not just there for looks go ahead and pop this now these latches are different on the 18 which is very cool of course the lights here are different um, there is an LED light package uh, uh, upgrade package that they had on the Sahara. They had a Sahara there, but somebody else, uh, I think somebody was buying that one when I was there, so I wish I could have brought that home to show you. So I'm gonna do this all with one hand. I mean, this is pretty light. So, right here, so check this out. So, this here, um, get this. So, you take this stick and you actually can can take it and um, you can take this and actually push the hood up. So this is this is pretty cool. So you take this and, and you push the hood back. So the hood can go all the way back and rest on the windshield. So I could, of course I've done this in my Jeep, my Rubicon, but it's a you know I have to unlatch a few things so there you go see that how it's resting there I'll be a, afraid to I'll be afraid to scratch my paint up so looks like um, there's not much to protect it there also, <clears throat> the windshield will come down a lot easier. Uh, apparently there's only six screws as opposed to 28-ish screws on the previous models. So that's a different, different uh, feature. S same 3.6, but I tell you, man, this thing right here was way more punchy than the previous models. Um, of course, I haven't driven one since my 2013. I haven't driven any of the previous, but I can tell you, compared to my Rubicon with the same 3.6, this thing is, is set up to fly. Let's see, let me go ahead and warm, light this thing up and show you what the inside, look, the dash looks like. So as I told you, this was push button. So you go, that's, that's, that's beautiful there, hey look. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take a lot of time to go through um, each of the screen set the setup of the screen, but I mean this thing's things it's growing on me. Um, not sure if I'm gonna trade in my Rubicon <laughs> for it. Uh, I don't know, but you know it's something that it, you know from the 
from the time when I went in and, and saw this and I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I agree with what they've done to now. I'm like, well, you know, this is, it's growing on me. Um, here, you see there's the two high, four high, neutral and four low. You can see that there. I heard there's a uh, an inclometer on here too where you can, you can have that um, setting here. And, you know, I'm just, it's growing on me. So, you know, comment, tell me what you think. If you bought one and you're happy with it, or if you bought one and you're not happy with it, you know, comment. But if you could please just give me a thumbs up, like this, subscribe to This Is B-Rob, and share this video. I appreciate that. This is B-Rob. I will see you guys next time.